Hey guys, thanks for joining me again today. So what we're gonna be doing today is some lotion. Usually we do soaps, I know, but my supplies came in for lotions finally, so I can get started on those. So you'll need distilled water, which I already have heating up back here in this big old pot. Bleach to clean your countertop. Utensils, like anything the lotion is going to touch. I've already bleached all of uh, the containers and the lids that are going to go in there. Um, I soaked them in bleach for like 10% well, bleach solution for like 10 15 minutes. Rinsed them all out in like scalding hot water. I had to wear gloves, it was so hot. Um, and then kind of let them air dry face down so that nothing gets um, in them because I have dogs and just there's probably hair and stuff in the air. Um, so yeah, good idea. So for this, you're gonna need, basically it's gonna be 65% water, and then the rest is going to be a mixture of our, here we go, oils, and our, that down without spilling it, butters. So I'll tell you what I'm doing for mine, and then do whatever works for you. So you need your water, which I have going on back there, Distilled water, if it's gonna be something that's just for you, you just boil some tap water if you don't have distilled, but it's like, what, 90 cents a gallon or something? I think I paid 80 cents at um, Target for that. Um, yeah, so why not? Um, so for my recipe, I also make a little infusion, that I cannot pronounce this, to save my life, but this, and I know that is backwards, but manji da powder? Anyways. Um, <laughs> despite my lack of cultural uh, understanding, but it's really good for like eczema, psoriasis, so they say I'm not a doctor, consult your doctor, um, but in my personal anecdotal experience, it's really good for that. I usually toss it in with like some clay or something, do a little half to half, and then add some sort of oil, jojoba, whatever, vitamin E, whatever you want that works for you like burns, uh, scrapes, cuts, stuff like that that are like just really minor. That's what I do personally. Um, but you have to consult your physician on that stuff. But anyway, so I do uh, a little infusion of that in here, and then that, that goes for the water portion as far as the butters are concerned. So we do Illipi and Kokum. And if I can find my other one, Marumu butter. And then there's also just a little bit, a little, little bit of shea, mango, and cocoa. The bulk of them are those three because they're just much lighter. Um, they soak into skin easier. They don't leave your skin feeling as greasy. That's all things I like, but they do create a barrier. Um, there's also glycerin, which we're gonna add to the water here in a second. That helps create a nice barrier. Um, the other thing you're going to need is, I don't know if I can show this without spilling it, is some, you can't see that, but there's vitamin E oil in that. I have the jar right here. So just any kind you want. Um, this is just organic. It had the highest amount of I use that I could find. It's an antioxidant. You need that in your lotion, otherwise bad things happen. <clears throat> and then this is a preservative. So I use a natural preservative. Um, it is called Optifin, so it's paraben free, no pH restrictions, um, it's about 1.5 max, so you have to have this otherwise you're going to have like mold, bacteria, viruses, God only knows what growing inside your lotion, this prevents that. So, you mess with people's skin, you need that. Um, it is a more natural one, they have a few different ones in the market, uh, just I guess whatever works for you. As far as the oils are concerned, you can see that there's hemp oil in there, obviously, which there is cold pressed organic hemp oil, uh, jojoba oil, and then oh, castor oil, uh, just regular old castor oil. Uh, I might be switching to Jamaican black later, I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, macadamia nut oil, so if you have a nut allergy and that's not going to work for you, don't do it because there's also kukui nut oil and this as well, and I think I read somewhere that jojoba is actually derived from a nut as well. So if you have a nut allergy, please stay away from my lotion because it's 
This is not meant for you. Um, you're also going to need, oops, sorry, emulsifying uh, wax. So what that does, ooh, I put it back, but I'll knock anything over. What that does is it takes these lovely things, the oils, the butters, and the water, and it makes them come together and they make a great friendship. So that's what it does. <clears throat> Without that, you're just going to, I mean, you'll, you'll get some emulsification, um, it just, it's not going to stay that way. It's like if you make salad dressing, you blend that salad dressing enough, it will stay together for a second. The minute it goes into the refrigerator, you just let it sit out for a while, it's going to separate. So um, that emulsifying wax goes in with the oil and the butter, which I'm going to combine now because we have to melt these down still. Ooh, where is my spatula? You know, I always start these videos and I always think I'm set up. <laughs> the only thing that ever ends up happening is I set myself up. I think my spatula that I cleaned is behind the camera, so give me two seconds. Okay, I am coming back. Here we go. Because it was sitting back there. Um, I have some 90% isopropyl. We're just going to spray it down real quick. Like I said, you don't want to take any chances. We're going to kind of let that dry for a little second. Okay. And then we're going to get the rest of this out. Okay. Go down. Okay. Oh, and then I also forgot to say, there is emu oil in this one, so I personally love emu oil. Um, if you're vegan, this, once again, just go ahead and change the channel. It is not a video for you, but it is, well, I can't give medical advice, but I would just say go read on emu oil and see what they say about it. Um, my personal anecdotal experience, again. And again, I am not a medical professional, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not an MD, I'm not even a PhD. <laughs> um, no kind of doctor here. Is that it's really, really good for your skin. Um, I love it, but if you're a vegan, it's probably just not gonna be a good hit. So I'm gonna go set this on the stove um, after I clean up my mess over there. There is a slight mess um, from that earth. <laughs> So what I do usually is I'll take a portion of the total volume of water that you need, <clears throat> me. and then I'll make like a little side tea out of it. In this case, this is like, I know the fluid ounces, this cup wise, it was like, it was like two, four, six, it's like nine cups of water basically. But I took two of those cups, set them aside, put the herbs in there, let it kind of come to a nice steam, not quite to a boil, um, and then I filtered that out through letting it, you know, like, then cool down. Once, once I get the steam kind of coming off, I let it cool down. Uh, pulled it off the stove. Everything kind of settles out a little bit, but not a lot. So then what I do is I pour that off through, I'll show you what I did. Through just a, a mesh strainer. There's still some water. This isn't in the sink. So there's a mesh strainer, and then I just line it with a coffee filter inside. And so I kind of do that a few times. And then the first cup or so goes, goes easy, but then as everything kind of settles out even more, the filters get clogged. So then what I'll do is once that happens, and I'll kind of very gently pour that off into another one of those lined with the coffee filter. And if I do that three times, that gets me just the clear mixture. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I did. That's, yeah, that is what I did. All right, so let me go clean this off, because some of that stuff drip. so. I gotta get this to melt. I put that super low, and as you can see, there are festivities. It was my husband's birthday yesterday. Um, so we had like a little bit of a party, and by that I mean just he and I had a party. <laughs> so uh, I decorated the house because I had to work all day. Um, and then I came home while he was busy gaming, I decorated and then called them out. And then we also did, I guess while you're here and you can see my fridge, we did Tresla cheesecake. Well, I made Tresla cheesecake. Oh, here we go. You can see that, there we go. So Tresla cheese. If you've never had it, it's amazing. It's one of his favorite. And then we did lasagna, which is what that is. Um, and then that was our dinner. Uh, so that's all, that's kind of all we did. And then we just played video games on the sofa and kind of 
stressed out a little bit because that's also what we do. So I'm gonna go add this glycerin. I gotta go find another. Oh, I can probably use that spoon. <clears throat> so this goes to the glycerin goes to the water. Oh, okay. Um, and this is vegetable glycerin. So basically, if you are vegan, you're not eliminating the water. You get the same, same lotion, this X name that you oil, and you're gonna get the same effect. Um, or less. At least you'll get moisturizing. Um, yeah. And so the glycerin just, it's like a little connectant. Uh, what that means is it draws moisture to the skin. So honey is a connectant, glycerin is a connectant. Um, and that's why glycerin soap is really, really good for you. Okay, so. We're gonna wait for that to happen, and then I'm going to finish this lovely chai tea, because why not? So, <clears throat> but yeah, so I have been waiting the better part of, oh my, like two weeks, three weeks, for these containers to come in. The, the supplier is really, really good. They worked with me. Um, I was able to like, you know, I was gonna say Facebook message, but it's not through Facebook. Uh, like. You know, when you go on those websites, like, they have like a little chat bar, I did that. Um, and the customer service was like super, super, super sweet, super good. I told them what I was trying to do, what I wanted. Um, they showed me basically all the different colors that this came in, uh, the different thicknesses, uh, all that stuff that I knew nothing about. Um, I just figured you went and they had like one or two options and that's the way it goes. And it's not the case. <laughs> not even not even a little bit. Apparently like the bottom can be different, the rim can be different, um, thickness of the plastic, the color of the plastic, how blue do you want it. So all that being decided, I also I saw I ordered those. I ordered some smaller ones and start making face cream uh, once they get here. And shampoo and conditioner also once they get here. Uh, so I was hoping to do these videos a couple weeks ago, but um, just didn't work out that way. Uh, we'll be reordering, if you follow my Instagram, you saw that I was out looking for um, supplies when I'm looking, I'm going to pick up supplies. So I'm going to reorder some things that I can't just go to the store and buy, which is mostly the oils and butters. Uh, like Monday or Tuesday, uh, Monday's like pretty hectic, it's like the first day back to my one job at the autism center, so uh, usually I come home and I'm just wiped out. Those little kids take it out of you. Um, <laughs> so, but in like the best way. Uh, what else? So we'll be doing, I think I'm going to do my mint julep soap, which is a green soap. It's really neat. I'm gonna go for like a swirl. So I think I'm gonna do like half the batch green. Some of that green's gonna come from my French green clay that I have sitting to my left. Um, and the rest of it's gonna come for spirulina. Ooh, I said it right this time. Good. Um, I was thinking I would just do like a, a gradient green. I was like, ugh, it might be kind of boring. And I really haven't done a lot of swirls. Most of my bars are just kind of layered. Um, I don't know why. I guess that's just how I like them. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, they, some of them have like smaller swirls in different areas, but I think I'm just gonna do like one giant swirl of something. Um, and then I'm also, so that should happen next Sunday. So stay tuned for that, we'll do the mint julep bar, hopefully next Sunday, fingers crossed. Uh, I did make something this weekend besides the lotion, but I did not film it because making content is new to me. <laughs> so, but I'll give you a little, so, and then I'll have to go wash my hands again, but I made my little Mardi Gras, well, actually it's not Mardi Gras, it's King Cake uh, bath bomb. The reason I knew that is because I just got a big old whiff of it. Um, so it's very vanilla-y, uh, so like sweet and like deep, rich, sort of amber-ish uh, vanilla. Um, yeah, so, and it has the emu oil in it as well as jojoba and a little bit of cocoa, coconut uh, oil. So, which I have a ton of because my my order came damaged and so they said don't ship it back. 
they didn't want to deal with that mess either. Uh, my whole front door, like the, the outside is just it's coated still with uh, coconut oil. <laughs> so <laughs> it's been a very interesting week. But, so I got to keep that, and there's still some in the container, it's just not a full container, not by, not by half. Uh, so they sent a replacement, so um, a lot of that. I don't use a lot of it, really, um, in my soaps. I try to do like a little bit, I do use more percentage-wise than, than other oils. I'm trying to think in my head of my formula, because I do use the same base formula for every soap. Um, it's just, I don't have that memorized. <laughs> it's written down because my head's full of other things. In case you, in case you guys don't know, I am a master's student finishing off uh, my master's in mental health counseling. And I work with autistic kids, an RBT. I used to do a crisis center, I used to do inpatient therapy. I currently am finishing like literally seven weeks from graduation finishing my internship, which is unpaid, so if you ever go to therapy, have your therapist thank you, because they had to work a whole year and not get paid for their internship, um, or their practicum, which comes before your internship. So anyways, I did all that at Youth and Family Services, and now I'm getting sad, because it's starting to get more real. Yeah. So I had to tell one of my clients, and then he got sad, and I got sad, because he got sad, and I was like, oh. But yeah, so, on to bigger and better things. So, unfortunately they're just not hiring where that is, otherwise I would just try and stay on and keep my case low. But, um, during my practicum and my first internship, they did a bunch of hiring, so I just started at a bad time, so. What are you gonna do? Oh, did you guys see, I don't know if I ever showed you this. My little nephew's got this, I think for my birthday last year. It says, only the best uncles I mean, oh, it's on my side too. Get promoted to a godfather, because um, I'm godfather to my niece, my oldest nephew, and then my middle nephew never got the memo, because he just calls me that too. His, uh, his godparents are my cousins. Uh, <laughs> but he never got the memo, because in our family we call your, your godfather Paran and your godmother Nanny. Um, so his oldest brother, and then his youngest sister called me Pran. Um, and so he just he just never got my boy, he can't call me. And so we just have his love at this point. It doesn't make a difference. It's been the same amount on all of them. So it's too much. So. Yeah, they got me that, so it was really cute. Uh, Cause I was looking for a microwavable cup because all the coffee cups we have had like a, I guess gold leaf or something on them, I don't know, so. I didn't want to risk microwaving that. I thought it might be okay because it's like just surface. It's so surface that my husband got the lesson. Put them in the dishwasher. We'll put one in the dishwasher and then there's no coal. So I asked him, like, does this look different to you? But no. So I am going to go watch this melt, pause this video, and then we'll rejoin once all this stuff is melted because. It's been an exhausting weekend, and I don't really have any particularly interesting stories to tell you guys right now that I can think of other than yesterday, my feet hurt, because I was on them all day, all week, so, not a very interesting story. Okay, so we are back, so this, I'll tilt the camera down, maybe that'll work better. There we go. So that is our liquid. So as you can see, it is a little bit red, but it's like so, so, so light. Um, it's not really gonna discolor the lotion that much. So this is nice and heated. I'm trying not to stain anything else in the house today. It's gonna bring this, it's soaked in bleach, so it's plenty safe. So I'll just set the spoon there. I can't tell you how many times I've been using turmeric uh, as a coloring agent. And I have, like, I guess they're marble, maybe they're granite countertops. Um, and it just goes right in. So what I end up doing is taking like a little bit of bleach on the area and just kind of rub it right directly on it. And then I'll take like a damp towel, 
So get in some bleach. Um, I'm gonna put it right over the area for like five, 10 minutes, and then um, that seems to work. Okay, so the oil and the water are roughly about the same temperature. Okay, so there is that. You can see it is definitely a little bit green. So the thing about this is, is that when you start mixing them, when you start mixing them, when they're hot, sometimes they don't really uh, congeal the way they're supposed to. So we're gonna give this a go and see where it, um, see what happens, uh, and then we'll go from there. So if it does do what it's supposed to, it will start to thicken. We may have to just let the mixture cool down just a little bit, um, and then come back to it, and then it'll start to thicken like lotion. So, there we go. I'm just trying to get everything. All these oils that I've been using are like crazy expensive. Okay. So, I'm gonna get all the goodness. Okay, so that's empty. So this is gonna be noisy. Get your air out. You don't want aerated lotion. Or... definitely a little bit emulsified it's just not thickening the way it's supposed to let me pull up my pants here um it's still pure liquid but i'll show you well you guys can't really see let me see if i can get you guys some more light uh, we have these little things and they fidget so let's see there we go we're not giving me too much of a halo let's see if that helps well, you guys can't really see, but it's just sort of a cream color. That's all that the tea does. Okay guys, so this is part two of the lotion video. So, <clears throat> it took about an hour to two <laughs> of the mixture being in the refrigerator for it to finally even get close to uh, emulsification. Um, that was just because just the size of the batter. The hotter it is, it just naturally kind of stays in a liquid form. So it is emulsified. Technically, the water is binding to the oils and butters. That happened, but for it to get thick, um, one of the things that happens and just always happens is so when you're melting down the oils, well, you know, the butters, and then you're putting the oils and all that stuff in there, most of that stuff like cocoa butter, the Olivia butter, it's sort of melting point is right around like 130, 140, and that's pretty hot. And you also want the water to be at equal temperature. So, one of the things I do is I'll heat the water to like 110, 120 and then I'll let the oils cool down to about that temperature and then we'll start all that and then it usually goes into the refrigerator. Um, the other thing is usually I also make this much smaller batches, uh, but you didn't really miss anything. So we combined the oil, as you saw in the footage, we combined the water, mix, mix, mix. Once we saw emulsification happening, it was done. Um, the vitamin E oil, 
That's the antioxidant. That is for the oil to not go rancid. Uh, that's in this. And then we did the, what was it called? Oh, I can't think of it, but the preservative, that's for the water because when there's water, there's life. Since this is an oil and water mixture, the water molecules are still in here. They're just bound through the binding agent, the emulsification wax to the water and to the oil. They're just bound together. So with that, <laughs> with that, what, what we have is you want to make sure both those ingredients on their own. So the preservative, we keep viruses, bacteria, um, mold, fungi, any of that stuff from taking over in the lotion. Uh, into the water portion of the lotion and for the oil part that's for the vitamin E so you need both uh, in combination to work and then we added the fragrance oil which this is kind of sweet smelling it has a lot of vanilla um, it has some like background forest since there's a little gardenia a little jasmine um, but yeah so we're just gonna keep mixing um, it's just about as thick as it's gonna get so let me get the air out of this thing and then we're gonna do a blend and then we'll fill some cups. great because some did splatter out um, onto my skin while I was waiting for all this to refrigerate. I kept kind of just checking on it every 30 minutes or so. I'd pull it out and kind of see where it was. Um, the sides and the sides and the uh, basically anything closest to the metal um, worked or emulsified or solidified, whatever, whatever word I'm looking for, um, faster course is because it's in more contact with the cold and then the other thing is I did use two emulsifiers I can't think of the other one but there's a natural oil that you can use let me get that out of you uh, a natural oil that you can use it is all over the place this lotion okay um, a natural natural oil uh, lecithin I think is what it's called um, I have to go look at the bottle but you can use that, so like if you don't like the idea of the emulsifying wax because it's not natural, you could use that. The only thing with that is if you ship it, so if you're gonna do this for a business and you ship that anywhere, it will split if it's hot. So if you ship it in the fall, the spring, or the winter, it'll be fine. If you ship it anywhere, I'd say where the temperature is probably over like 83, 84, it's gonna split especially in, unless you're doing like an overnight or something um because when i make my own personal stuff at home i use that because i like i like to go as natural as i can like i said i use a natural preservative vitamin e oil is pretty natural the only thing that's not natural is going to be the emulsifying wax however since these are shipped that's the way we have to go so that they don't split because that would be bad um, okay so we'll see if i can angle this camera down just a smidge and then you could see just maybe it's very bright if I use this okay maybe that helps nope that does not help <laughs> well in any case it's pretty thick it has me not discolored um this is a really bad camera um it hasn't really discolored it's sort of a light beige color uh the red like I said doesn't really come through so now we're just gonna fill these. And I was gonna do it with this sadly, but let me go get that spoon that I was using earlier, spray it down, and then we will use that because that will go faster. Okay. Kind of 
I let that dry. Just a little 90% isopropyl is more than enough. Okay, a little more dry time. So yeah. Okay, so pretty easy, pretty thick. Just um, there we go. And it will thicken up a little bit more um, as it sits in the container. Not much more, but a little bit more. I just figured it's a little too thick, really, for um, for uh, like a, a pump bottle. I don't, know what I, I don't know what words I was looking for there. Looking for words that I did not have. It is late here. Well, it's late for me. Um, go. I'm do just a few more of these because my video editing does not allow me to fast forward. Otherwise, you could just watch me fill. Oh, but that's kind of where we're at, almost to the top. Like I said, it's going to thicken up much more as time goes by. But thanks for joining me. Please hit the subscribe button if you already haven't done so. Those of you that have, I appreciate you. I'm gonna let you see my face as I do this. Um, and then click the notification button. Uh, like I said, next week we're going to be doing the Mangelo. I had to think about it because I started laying out some of the things for it. I'm gonna do a test bar probably tomorrow. Uh, just so I can make sure I can get rolls that I'm kind of really looking for. So it is going to have the green clay. I don't know if you guys can even see that it's green, but well, it's marked green. And then it's called Milton Mindy or something like that, but it's basically fuller's earth clay mixed in just because it's really, really, really good for your skin. Um, it's going to be minty. So that's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a really minty, minty bar, uh, refreshing for your skin. Look fibers in it, sort of the usual um, accoutrement, um, sea moss, aloe. Just really good for your skin, but if the other bars really aren't doing it for you, just something else out there, like Mississippi Mud, super, super cleansing, gives you that good squeaky feel, so does the Oud. Uh, Mississippi Mud, it's like coffee and chocolate, so. <laughs> You like to smell like oh that's your bar the oud is just like a really masculine deep woodsy scent we have a floral that is the evening in the garden district praline and cream has a lit like just it's under the amount that you need um i reduced the fragrance oil in it by half so it's like just background notes of vanilla in that one uh but that one's really more for sensitive skins anyways that's why i did that the sea moss oatmeal uh, aloe, it's super fatted to 8%, whereas most of the other bars are only super fatted to right around 6 So it's not, it's not like that super, super like soapy, squeaky feel bar. It's really good for your skin. Like my skin's dry. If I have anything else going on with my skin, that's what I use. Um, they are all on sale. Everything's on sale, really. Bath bombs, bubble bars, lotions. Uh, soaps. I'm trying to think of what else I have on the website that I'm not thinking of, but the whole website's on sale, popicarrytherocket.com. Go check it out, put a few things in your cart, give them a test, and comment below what else you want to see. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.